How much does it cost to do a renovation? I'm not talking about low, I'm not talking about high. How about a nice mid-end renovation? In this video, we're gonna be talking about the cost for a renovation, the process of a renovation, the timeline of a renovation, so that you have a good understanding of how to do your renovation. Throughout this video, I'm gonna show you pictures of projects that I have done. My name is Ken. I've done many renovations, big and small. So first of all, what is a mid-end renovation? So it typically includes substantial upgrades to all areas like the kitchen, the washroom, replacing outdated finishes, upgrading stuff like fixtures and sometimes reconfiguring spaces like tearing down walls to better functionality. It's not the most basic cosmetic upgrades, but we're not talking about luxury finishes or custom builds either. It strikes a good balance between improving your home and keeping the cost manageable. First, let's talk numbers. For mid-range renovations in Vancouver, you're looking at about one to $200 per square foot. Of course, the total cost depends on the size of the project and the areas that you're gonna be doing the renovation. Let's kind of break down the cost by room. For a kitchen renovation, a mid-range kitchen, it's typically gonna cost between $25,000 and $50,000. This includes updating cabinetry, countertops, appliances, and the lighting fixtures. For instance, you might choose quartz countertops, semi-custom cabinetry. So you might ask, well, you know, $25,000 to $50,000, that's a big difference. What can you do for $25,000? Well, let's just talk about lighting. Lighting can be one kind of flush mount. You put it in the ceiling, it's just around one round thing. Or you can have a lot of pot lights. Actually, they're not called pot lights now because pot lights refers to the old light bulbs. They're called LED panels, which is basically LED lighting. Little discs like this, you put it up. In a typical kitchen, you can have six to eight of them. And that requires rewiring. Often when you rewire a ceiling, a lot of the modern ceilings will have that flat look. So the old popcorn ceiling, you will flatten that out. Here's one thing that adds to the cost. Secondly, a lot of people like islands. In the old layout, the kitchen sink is to the side, but what if you wanna move that entire sink to the middle of the island? That requires extra plumbing. So this is where the differences in costs come in. Next, bathroom renovations. Updating a bathroom will run between $10,000 and $30,000. This can involve replacing tiles, upgrading to a new vanity, installing a beautiful bathtub or shower, and adding a new fixture. You likely want to use quality materials without going over the top. Once again, you're asked, well, you know, what? Well, how come it's ten thousand? How come it's thirty thousand? Well, great question. Let's just talk about the shower base. The shower base is you have the shower stall, and on a base, you can choose. You can choose between a plastic shower base or a custom shower base. So a plastic is, think of white plastic, look down, you knock, it sounds like plastic, or a custom shower base, which is made of stone. It looks really fancy. Obviously you buy a, a plastic shower base, you plunk it in, job done. But however, a custom shower base made of stone, there's a lot more work involved. You have to slope it correctly, put a liner on it, just a lot more custom work. These differences added together do cost a lot of money. Next is the whole home renovation. If you're doing a larger project like renovating a few rooms or the whole home, expect costs to range from $150,000 to $400,000. Obviously, a lot of this depends on the size of the house, how many kitchens you have, how many washrooms you have, whether or not you want to do exterior, windows, etc. This can include things like new flooring, new siding, painting, upgrading the entire lighting, upgrading the source of power going from 100 amps to 200 amps. The reason why a lot of families need to upgrade from 100 amps to 200 amps is because of the following. Electric cars, they have a jacuzzi, they have air conditioning. All of these things require a lot of work. So what do you get for this kind of money? Again, we're not talking about high end, we're talking about mid end. A lot of stuff and materials that we buy are not custom made. So a lot of materials are gonna be nicer. You're gonna have solid surfaces for the countertops that are either quartz or granite. You're gonna have for flooring, laminate or engineering. Really modern lighting fixtures and you can really go over the top on some of these. I've seen some fixtures go for $10,000, $15,000. Of course, you're not gonna go to that amount. However, one of my favorite places for going to light fixtures for a good cost is really Rona. 
Rona does have good selections. A big thing nowadays is functionality, namely it's the open concept. You see many years ago when houses were built, they were very compartmentalized. The kitchen was the kitchen, the dining room was the dining room, the living room was the living room. However, nowadays everything wants to be opened up into one great room or one big open concept. Everything kind of flows into one huge room. You have the kitchen, dining room and living room all connected, it looks big. It makes the house look very grand. Really good if you're entertaining guests or if you like a lot of big space. The only drawback is that if you have young kids, because everything's open, there, there really is no separation of hallways or different rooms between you and the kids' rooms so that you can make noise in a kitchen and possibly wake up the kids. So what's the process? If you're doing a lot of stuff in your renovation, planning and design is very important. This is probably one of the most important stages. You'll work with a designer or contractor to map out your vision, select materials, and create a budget. This can take anywhere from a few weeks to a couple months, depending on the scope of your project. Next is permits. Generally speaking, if you're not moving any walls, electrical, plumbing around, if you're just, for example, removing the cabinets, replacing the countertops, changing a few faucets, changing a few light fixtures, that doesn't need permit. But the minute you switch plumbing fixtures around, for example, if you wanna move your plumbing three feet to the left or right, if you're enlarging windows, if you're taking down walls, that does require a permit. And you have to submit plans. If you're doing structural work, you have to get the permits from an engineer, get all this together and submit it to the city. 